Good morning, hot dogs. Thankfully, it's Friday. Another week completed at FHS, but more to come. Today, we will be talking about neon night, weather, volleyball, and more after the pledge. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Don't forget that Heroes of Hope is tomorrow at 10 a.m. at the Clan County Fairgrounds, where there will be free services such as COVID vaccines, shoes and socks, groceries, haircuts, and much more. Plus, you, there will be a kids zone, so feel free to bring your kids, siblings with you. Now to the weather and sports. This morning, it was 68 degrees. Later today, there is going to be a high of 90 degrees with a low of 68 degrees. It may rain a little in the afternoon, but by the time of the game, it should be in the low 80s and go to the low 70s throughout the game. There should be no rain in the game. Not the sports with Elijah and Nelson. Hey, I'm Elijah. The volleyball teams both fell to Delphi on Thursday evening. Both teams lost a combined four players in the last 24 hours due to injuries and adjusted to new lineups. The varsity was led by Mercedes Tonys with 16 assists, Bell Colby with 9 kills and 4 blocks, and Eric Capellian with 22 digs. Tara Martinez had 9 digs and 3 kills. Sydney Waker had 5 kills and 13 digs. Erica Stevenson had a kill and 2 digs. And Emma Pillian added 10 digs. Freshman Morgan Harrington, Ashley Zhang, Ella McAtee, and Justine Thomas all saw the varsity court for the first time. The girls will hit the court on Monday for their first home match against the Peru Tigers. Tonight is Neon Night. Come out and support the football team in the home opener against Quentin Prairie Galfers. If you can't make the game, the Hot Dog Network is partnering with the IC Sports Network. Bring the game to you for free. The game link can be found in the chatter. Now Nelson Hanare caught up with Coach Byers and a few players earlier this week to talk a little about football. Let's see what they had to say. Roll it, Kyle. After breaking a 10-year losing streak and going 5-5, five and five, the football team plans to have an even better season this year. Here's what Coach Byers and Captain Sam Michael and Brentwood had to say. We got a, a, a good, solid win last week over Clinton Central. Uh, they're a very physical team, um, and we were able to go into their place and, and pull off the W. It's always nice to start the season off on the right foot, uh, but our focus is always you know, moving forward and getting better every week. And so now we turn our attention to this week and, and getting ready to go again on Friday night. Uh, some big changes that we've had this season and the last season is we, we lost a big senior class last year, but we got a lot of guys stepping up and it shows. We, we are moving forward as a team and we talk and we communicate and, it, and it's what helps us get this win. It's how we started the Central. We were down a little bit, but we came together as a team and we stepped up and communicated and we came out the dub. Uh, how I plan to step up as a captain is uh, like during the games, just like uh, last Friday, just make sure no one gets down, no matter if we're down or up. I always have the same uh, mindset of moving forward and getting better all season long, so we can have a, a winning record this year. Uh, goal for this season is, well, first off, like I say, it goes by week by week, just focus on little things each week, but the goal overall this season is come out running for a sectional title. We we got a group, we got a great group of guys and we have the class to do it. It just takes everyone moving forward in the same direction. So stay tuned this season. We got some big things coming. The hot dog football team is in action this Friday night against Clinton Prairie. Come on out uh, and support the hot dogs. We're excited for a great game. Um, they're going to be able to play and and our guys are are going to be ready for it and excited for it. We want to see a big student section um, and get loud and get excited. Uh, go dogs! For lunch today, lines one and two will be mini corn dogs and lines three and four will be hot ham and cheese. On Monday, lines one and two will be birthday pancakes and lines three and four will be breakfast pizza. And don't forget to come and wear your neon gear to support our hot dogs playing tonight. That's it for the announcements today. If you enjoyed the announcements, make sure to like and subscribe. We hope you guys have a great rest of your day and we'll see you Monday.
tonight is 